Greetings, church family. I want to record a short video here to uh, update you on a few things that are taking place in the life of our congregation. Uh, the first pertains to the live streaming of our services. Uh, last week we did a trial run of live streaming uh, with our new camera, and we're happy to announce that we now have the capability to, uh, to do live stream with our services so that you can watch those in real time. Uh, we owe a special bit of thanks to Marshall Copen for uh, installing the new camera and the system and for his hard work in this process, and we're grateful for his efforts uh, to serve our church family in that way. Uh, we do ask that you would be patient as we learn this new system and sort of iron out the kinks when it comes to live streaming and uh, probably take us a few weeks before we're fully comfortable with the system, uh, but we look forward to be able to serve you in, in this way. Uh, please uh, look forward to some details in the next uh, next days or so uh, that gives more information about how to tune in for the live streaming of our services. The second thing I wanted to update you on was to give you uh, an update on our congregational meeting that's coming up this coming Sunday night at 6 o'clock p.m., and that's, again, December 13th. Uh, we're going to have a congregational meeting, uh, and I recognize that, obviously, we're in the middle of a, a global crisis, and some of you are not comfortable with in-person gatherings, uh, but we would ask those that are comfortable gathering uh, that you would make it a, a special effort to be here for that meeting. Uh, we do need to have a quorum, which is 25% of our membership, in order to, to conduct official business for the church. And so if you are comfortable enough gathering or comf comfortable enough to join us in the mask only room, uh, then we would ask that you make it a priority to be here. Uh, there are some who probably have not joined us because they don't feel comfortable uh, wearing a mask to or from their seat. Uh, and if that's the case, we would ask if you could set that preference aside and join us for the congregational meeting anyway. Uh, we would be greatly appreciative of, uh, of those efforts. I do realize there are some who will not be able to join us because of their, their health being high risk of, of COVID or working alongside someone who is high risk. And so uh, because that is the case and you're not able to, to join us, we are going to make this uh, congregational meeting available via a Zoom link that we will send out. And uh, you won't be able to, to vote and participate in the meeting that way as our Constitution prohibits uh, voting when you're not present in the meeting. Uh, but you will be able to listen to the discussions and the presentations that will be made in that uh, in that meeting and so we'll send that out uh, later this week uh, in our meeting we're going to be uh, dealing with several things that are important for the health and the life of our congregation uh, we're going to be talking about the proposed 2021 budget uh, we're also going to be making a few changes to our missions budget and want to give you some updates there uh, one of the main discussions we're going to have is uh, renovations for the gym and some of the things that uh, the trustees have been working hard to plan for uh, the coming year. And so I want to give you an update on those things. And then as well, uh, I'm going to be addressing some other topics that are, that are important for the life of our church um, in, addition to those, in addition to those matters. So again, this meeting is this coming Sunday, December 13th at 6 p.m. Uh, we look forward to seeing you on Sunday morning for worship and then again this coming Sunday evening. So God bless and uh, we look forward to spending time with you this coming weekend.